हेलो माई सेल्फ सतीश थलंगे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी रिगार्डिंग द ब्रेक इवेंट एनालिसिस एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन द लर्नर विल बी एबल टू अप्लाई दिस टेक्निक फॉर द फाइनलाइजिंग द मिनिमम सेल वैल्यूएबल और यू कैन से द क्वान्टिटी टू कवर ऑल द फिक्स एंड द वेरिएबल कॉस्ट एसोसिएट विद द प्रोडक्ट प्रोडक्शन यर वी आर गोइंग टू see the areas that is a loss area as well as profit area which is going to help us to make the decision for the finalizing the quantity that is a minimum sell level break even analysis is also called as a cost volume profit analysis the break even analysis is performed to determine the value of variable of the project that make two elements equal that is a sell volume that will be equal to the revenue and the cost The break-even chart is a graphical presentation of the cost. The costs associated are the fixed cost, variable cost, total cost, and the sale, or you can say revenue. Here, the point at which neither profit or no loss is there, that is called as the break-even point, and it is represented on the chart as shown in the blue, or you can say next slide. This is the overall the chart between the sell volume in units and the sell or you can say cost. Here we are observing the horizontal black line, which is the overall fixed cost, and the variable cost, which is the overall going to increase with respect to the overall the level of the production. Here, the total cost is something else. It's a summation of variable cost as well as fixed cost, which is been represented by the overall brown color line. Which the sell is nothing else. It's a overall the equal to the multiplication of number of quantity and the per unit price of that particular product. That is a selling price. So, here this is the overall graph. in which we are observing the break even point this is a point which is obtained by the intersection of the two line that are the total cost and the sell this is a point which is helping us to identify the overall the quantity of the overall the product which has to be sold which will give you no profit no loss indication that your production should lie above the break even point if you are lying below the break even point definitely you are under the loss zone now let's see the fixed cost what are the fixed cost the fixed cost are those that are not directly related to the level of production or the output in other words even if the business has a zero output or there is no any production still even though there are the fixed costs which are running on which has to be paid compulsory examples are what the salaries and the property tax insurance interest on the investment rent or the depreciation of the building machineries etc as well as administration cost there are many more points now variable cost the variable cost are those costs which vary directly with the level of output they represent the payment to the overall to get down the output or to get down the production of the product for which we require the raw material the labors to get down the work done or job done the fuels and the revenues related to the cost such as the commissions so here the total variable cost is nothing else it's a summation of direct variable cost and indirect variable cost now let's see what are the direct variable cost the direct variable cost are those which can be directly attributed to the overall the production of the particular product or the services they are directly related they are directly involved to get down the output in the finished product example the labor which are directly related to the 
production of the particular product the raw material the semi finished raw material which finally it will be the finished good but what about the indirect variable cost the indirect variable cost cannot be directly related to the production but they are needed to get down the finished product or the you can say the end product the semi variable cost the semi variable cost differ from one segment to the another segment these are particularly fixed and partly variable cost for example water and the electricity charges they are the cost sometime they are, are playing the partly fixed and the partly variable so finally the total cost is equal to fixed cost plus variable cost and sell is equal to fixed cost plus variable cost plus profit if you observe this graph here the total cost is nothing else summation of variable cost plus fixed cost and the sell is nothing else it's a fixed cost variable cost and the profit so the formula for the sell is equal to n into price per unit equal to the fixed cost plus n multiplied by variable cost per unit plus profit now the break even point is a point at which there is a intersection of the total cost and the sell as i said the overall the total cost which is in the brown color and the sell which is in the blue color they get intersect to each other at certain point in the overall graph which is nothing else a break even point this is a point where there is no profit and the no loss now let's see the break even point is a term in units the break even point in units is equal to fixed cost divided by sell price per unit minus variable cost per unit this break even point is in terms of unit which can be obtained by fixed cost divided by sell price per unit minus variable cost per unit break even point in currency which can be used by declaring or you can say by using the fixed cost plus sell divided by sell minus the variable cost in this way the break even point can be identified in the unit as well as currency coming to the next the angle of incidence this is the angle of incidence angle of incidence lie between the sell and the total cost now let's see margin of safety so margin of safety can be presented on the break even chart as the distance between break even point and the output being produced as i said if the distance is larger profit is more if the distance is reduced then it will affect on the profit so this is the overall related to the margin of safety now let's see the example from the following particular example we are going to identify the break even point in terms of the sell value and the in units the number of units that must be sold to be earn the profit of rupees 90000 means here we have to also identify the number of units if we want the profit of rupees 90000 here the details are there regarding the overall the points let's start for the solution we have to see the break even point in terms of so variable cost per unit is equal to 12 plus 3 this is the variable cost per unit that is 12 rupees and variable selling cost per unit is 3 so 12 plus 3 it's a 15 total fixed cost is equal to 60000 plus 12000 how to may identify the values here they have given fixed factory overhead cost is 60000 and fixed selling overhead cost is 12000 so it's totally 72000 so break even point in terms of units that is 
we are getting, going to get that is the overall 72,000 divided by 24 minus 15 is 8,000 units. So the break even point in terms of units we are declaring that 8,000 units and if we want to find out the break even point in the values or you can say in the uh, cost we can get by multiplying it with the 24 as we know the 24 is what the selling price per unit so 8000 multiplied by 24 it's a 1 like 92000 so break even at the break even point the selling value is 1 like 92000 at the quantity of 8000 but as per the question we are have to in identify the number of units that if it has been sold to earn the rupees of 90,000 how the for that we have to use the formula fixed cost plus profit divided by selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit so fixed cost is 72,000 plus profit is of 90,000 because we have view they are declared for the 90,000 we are interested to find out so it's a summation with the 72,000 divided by 24 it is selling price minus the variable cost per unit that is already we have identified here 12 plus 3 that is 15 so 15 so finally we are getting the quantity that is in terms of units number of units that is 18,000 at 18,000 quantity if we sell then we are going to get the 90,000 profit that is a indication so this is the overall references for today's session thank you thank you